Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. I'm Paul Allen and the subject of today's newsletter is in fact Complexity Made Simple. Where does that title come from? Well today we're going to have a look. In my clients, uh, in my workshops, uh, I'm often using this kind of equipment. Uh, this is my process effectively so uh, I'm not running moulding machines or presses or other fancy equipment. I'm typically firing a catapult. And one of the problems with using the catapult is lots of people say, ah, Paul, but we don't fire catapults. What we do is much more complicated than that. And uh, actually, they're dead right. Uh, what you do is incredibly complicated. And the first thing I want you to understand is how complicated it is what you do. So let's go back to one of the basic principles of Six Sigma, inputs, control outputs, you have a process, It's got inputs, I've just drawn four here, and it's got an output, and you're trying to hit some targets, some specification, etc., trying to please the customer. Um, and generally what this creates is huge complexity, because for relatively simple processes, if I said to you, let's imagine you have 15 inputs, to this process. Now for machinery, 15 inputs wouldn't be a lot. So an injection molding machine, for example, many, many more than 15. Let's assume that for those 15 inputs, you've bought the cheaper machine. And for each variable, you only have eight settings. So for example, if you're gonna adjust the temperature on the machine, instead of it being infinitely adjustable, which would typically be the case, You've only got eight settings, so you can only go setting one, click, two, click, 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 and there's eight of those. So we have 15 inputs, each one of them has only eight settings. Now in reality, you've often got more than this, and in reality, you've definitely got more than this. So actually, this number we are about to calculate is very conservative. The question is this. When your technical guys, when your engineers, when your technicians come to this process, how many different ways have they got of setting this machine up? Well, it looks like this. It's eight to the power 15, because obviously the first variable, you can set it in eight places. The second variable sets to eight places, eight times eight, is 64 just for those two dials. Eight times eight, times eight, times eight, times eight. You get this number. Thirty-five. And now I'm gonna write a word down. Thousand, million, billion. Well, unfortunately, it's none of those words, because it's this. There are 35 trillion different ways to set a process up with that many variables and that many settings. So when you say to me, ah, Paul, but our processes are more complicated than that. Yes, they are more complicated than that. And I want you to know how much more complicated, because if you don't know how to do this in this environment, you are stuffed. So, complexity made simple. How do we do this? Typically, we use a very simple process. We bear down on the variability in these inputs. We stop them being moved. So if I could take 10 of those, for instance, and fix them, fixed temperatures, fixed times, fixed pressures, and I don't move them. Instead of having 15 inputs, maybe I reduce that to five. And maybe of the five that are left, maybe these are people related, cleaning routines and things like this that are difficult to control. Maybe with good standard operating procedures, I reduce the number of settings from, from eight down to two. Now what have I got? Well, 
I've got 2 to the power 5. Suddenly, there are 32 different ways of running my machine. But all I did was fix the inputs. That was all I did to the process in order to remove that complexity. That's why these videos are called Complexity Made Simple. Because unless you have a clever way, a smart way of navigating this environment, you will never be world class. And what Six Sigma's about is being world class. Subscribe or drop me an email and I hope to hear from you soon.